Anchor Protocol is risky. Yes, the current 18% APY is juicy, but UST is still unproven as a stablecoin. Deep pegging worries, a dwindling yield reserve, and the leverage in the system makes investing in Anchor Protocol something that doesn't let you sleep very easy at night. But lucky for us, there is another protocol that provides the exact same style of stablecoin staking, but is much, much, much safer. Stick around to the end of this video and I'll walk you through how to use that protocol to earn interest on USDC or DAI, which are two stablecoins that have a much better track record and fundamentally less problems than UST. But before we do that, let's talk about Anchor. Anchor is a protocol that currently has a massive 18% yield on staking UST, which is the US dollar stablecoin of the Terra ecosystem. Basically, you deposit UST into Anchor and you earn interest on that UST, which is auto compounded. Because one USD is always supposed to equal one US dollar, it's an amazing way to earn a huge return with zero volatility in theory. But that is just in theory. The mechanism that is used to keep UST at $1 is stable most of the time, but is still untested and has had issues in the past. Just recently, on May 7th, there was a single large sale of UST. This caused the price of UST to break the peg to the US dollar by more than half a cent. That doesn't sound like a lot, but when something is supposed to be one-to-one -one stable with the US dollar, any kind of break is cause for concern. This peg breaking shook confidence in UST and caused over $3 billion worth of UST to get pulled out of Anchor, many of which was sold on the market for other, more trusted stablecoins. The Luna Foundation Guard, which is an organization that was made to maintain the peg of UST, and Jump Capital, which is a huge investor in Terra Luna, scrambled to try and boost the price of UST back up to $1. They did this by selling bags and bags of Ethereum and Bitcoin on the open market to buy UST and boost the price. This is extremely worrying because Terra Luna's underlying mint burn mechanism is supposed to be good enough to maintain the peg in the first place. The fact that that underlying mint burn mechanism in combination with these two massive organizations throwing hundreds of million dollars at trying to maintain the peg still struggled to get UST back up to $1 just shows how risky this system is. So judging by the after effects of that one big sale, we can say without a doubt that things get shaky when there's selling pressure on UST. And keep in mind that in order to earn on Anchor, you have to have all of your money in UST, which means that if UST crashed, the value of your savings would crash with it. We can expect a lot more sell pressure on UST in the future because Anchor yield in its current form is 100% unsustainable. In fact, I made an entire video on this topic. A lot of the problems I covered in that video are still very relevant today. The main issue is that the money being paid out to depositors is way more than the money being taken in from borrowers. This difference is being paid from the yield reserve, which is depleting at a faster and faster pace. I do expect that the Luna Foundation Guard will add to the yield reserve just like they did last March, but keep in mind that we are in a bear market and they are still struggling to keep that UST peg stable. So the last thing that they want to do is sell the Luna or Bitcoin in order to add to that yield reserve. All of these things paint a very bleak picture for Anchor. There are a million and one reasons to be worried about the USC peg. And even if USC doesn't depeg completely, the APY on Anchor will continue to decline month after month until it finally reaches sustainable levels. And there's really no telling how low that could be. So what can we do? In its current form, I think it's a good idea to avoid UST completely. Or at least, if you do want to hold UST, know that there is a non-zero chance of that value going to zero. So are there any other options for yield on less risky stablecoins? Yield that actually comes from a sustainable source? Stablecoins like USDC and DAI have built systems in a way that is much safer than UST. But the problem is, the majority of protocols that offer stable yields on these coins have very low interest rates. Currently on Aave, the yield you get for depositing USDC is only 1.75%. There is one protocol, however, that I think is the best place to get a low-risk strategy that also has sustainable yields on stablecoins, and that is Instadap Lite. I made a whole video covering how Instadap works under the hood, which I encourage you to check out. While Instadap provides a huge set of tools that lets you create intricate yield farming positions, their Lite product packages all of these up into an easy-to-use vault. 
All you have to do is deposit the coin of your choice and they'll build these intricate yield farming positions for you using blue chip protocols like Aave and Lido. Here's how to do it in less than 30 seconds. So here we are at Instadap Lite's landing page at lite.instadap.io. And we can see by scrolling down, the interest rates currently are 5% on USCC and 5.8% on DAI. To start earning interest, simply click on the vault that you want, choose how much you want to deposit, and then hit deposit. Then you'll have to confirm the transaction with your browser wallet. And if you want to learn how the strategy is actually working, you can click on the strategy details here. Currently, these strategies are only available on mainnet, but Instadap is likely to deploy them on other networks soon. The best part of Instadap Lite is that these yields are coming from sustainable sources. In the case of their USDC and DAI vaults, the interest is coming from the deposit rate into Aave, plus with some clever financial engineering, some staking rewards from ETH. While these yields are lower than Anchor currently, they're still more than double these blue chip market rates and maintain the security of these blue chip protocols. I know that I will definitely be able to sleep a lot better at night with my stable coins in one of these Instadap light vaults instead of having them on Anchor. If you want a deeper dive on how Instadap works, check out my Instadap overview video over here. And if you want to learn about the problems with Anchor protocol, check out that video here. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.